Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. In today's video, I'm going to go through an entire Google Ads tutorial for beginners, how to build your first AdWords or Google Ads. It's this newly called now search campaign. Now, if you look at my screen, you'll see we're logged into our demo account here. This is the AdWords account I've created just for specific for videos. And if you're, you know, have your AdWords open or, um, I can't want to keep saying AdWords. I know it's not AdWords anymore. <laughs> if you have your Google Ads account opened, then you'll see the exact same thing I see. If you have no campaigns, you'll see this. If you have campaigns, you'll see them listed under here. I have all enabled shown, so there's none. You can see all my campaigns here that we've done. But let's say you're brand new and you have no campaigns, you'll see this. So let's dive right in. We're going to build out a search marketing campaign for a roofing um, domain that I have and I'm just going to walk you through hold you by the hand and walk you through how to set up your first AdWords campaign I'm not going to go too far in depth into all the all the different things that are available when running campaigns in AdWords and I'm just going to kind of just give you the 40,000 foot view of how to set up your campaign for success well, that's the most important part all right we have a more advanced training but that's in a course we offer which I'll drop a link for below this video so first things first, we are going to come up into our campaigns tab in your account. And like I said, you'll either have campaigns here or you won't. We're going to create a new campaign. So you either click this here or we do a little plus sign here. New campaign. It's going to ask you which goal you want to select. Um, we're going to be doing a roofer. So we're going to be going for leads. And we want to choose search. And we want website visits to our landing page, which is xyzroof.com I believe let me just double check that if we come over here into our insta page landing page software you can see all of our different niche templates we have for different industries xyzroof.com is the name of the page we're using for the uh, demo campaign build what am I doing here okay xyz I just want to make sure it was Good to go. All right, website visits. Continue. I'm not going to touch on these. This is if you want to drive phone calls or call only, or you can drive app downloads if you have an app. But for for lead generation for this roofing campaign build, we're doing website visits. I'll make a call only video later. Hit continue. We're going to name our campaign X Y Z Roofers Inc. or whatever you want to call your campaign. Now this is really important. You want to turn off display network. You do not want to run ads on display network. You want search network only and including search partners is totally up to you. If you don't want it, you can uncheck it. If you do want it, you can check it. Come down to location. You can see here Philadelphia PA is what location we're going to be targeting. Come down here, location options, people in your target location, set your language, set your budget. I recommend at least $40 a day when you're running AdWords. Standard bidding, we're going to do manual bidding. Where are you? There you are. Manual CPC. We're going to have we're going to keep um enhanced CPC off for right now. We don't want these. We're going to skip over like ad extension stuff for right now. Okay, and we're going to set up an ad schedule. So we only want our ads to run Monday through Friday between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. Looks good. Save and continue. And now we're going to create our first ad group, standard ad group type, roofing contractor will be our first ad group. Default bid we're going to start with, uh, our budget is $40 a day, we're going to do 13 05 or 06. We'll start there and see where it lands us. There is a few different metrics and formulas you can use to determine what you want to start your bids at, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. Next, we're going to paste our keywords for roof contractor ad group. I'm going to start out with exact and phrase match only, just the root 
keyword for the ad group, which is roofing contractor. I'm going to hit save and continue. And we can build our first ad right here. So we have to grab the URL. And that was xyzroof.com. We're going to create our headline one, headline two. Fit. Call to book a free estimate. We're going to drop our keyword in the display path URL. Description. And guys, I'm just burning through this just for example sake. You obviously want to take your time when creating your ad copy. Um, watch, go watch one of my uh, YouTube videos about creating ad copy. Kind of go through how to do that. So let's just say uh, all right, so obviously I can't spell today either. Recommended Philadelphia's number one roof repair and replacement contractor. Call today. That's a fit, so we'll just leave that. URL options, we don't want to do anything with that. We're going to hit done. We're going to hit save and continue. So we have one ad, we have our, key, our uh, ad group. We're going to go into the campaign. So now we're in the new campaign we just created, okay? This is the ad group level you're looking at. See under here, we're under ad groups. So here's our new ad group we created. Now what we want to do is go create more ads for this ad group. So we want to have three ads, three or four ads in each ad group, okay? Now if you'll notice, here's an important note. So when you're doing, when you're building out your ad groups and your keywords, it's very important that, so... Roofing contractor is the theme of this ad group, okay? So if we go into the ad group, the keywords are roofing contractor. Now, all the keywords I add in below this are going to be all about roofing contractor as well, okay? It's very important that your theme stays consistent throughout the entire campaign all the way to the landing page. So our roofing contractor ad group has roofing contractor keywords, which has roofing contractor ads, which goes to a landing page about or mentioning or talking about roofing contractors, all right, which obviously this is just generic, not done. It's like a real estate template I just pulled from Instapage that I haven't really done anything with to make it about um, roofing, but it's just for example's sake. So that's that's really important to remember. Okay, so first things first, let's do our ads. Finish our ads because we want to have three. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna create our second ad. So let's try to switch this up. You want to have different copy for each ad. You don't want to just co clone the same ad and run it three times. That would make no sense. Because we want to test the copy and see which uh, converts better. Philadelphia's number one roof and repair and replacement contractor called today. Roof repair and replacement contractor. Repair. Replacement. Installation contractor call today. Looks good. Save ad. All right, well, get out of here. I don't need that. All right, we're going to come down and do our third ad. Put off your roofing.
prepared. Questions are always great to use in ads, by the way. And again, guys, I'm not trying to be clever and make up some really good copy. This is really shitty copy. Um, we should be really trying to craft a hook and have something unique that stands out for when someone searches these keywords. But I don't want to keep you in this video for two hours, so I'm just kind of burning through this. But just just note that you want to take time when creating your ad copy. It has to be unique. You don't ever want to copy anybody else's. Nothing like that. All right, Philadelphia Roofing Company. Need your roof repaired. Let's do call. Philadelphia's number one roof repair replacement installation contractor. Looks good. Save ad. <clears throat> All right, so it's telling us to add extensions in here. We'll do. We'll get to that in a later video. All right, so we got our three ads in our first ad group. Next, we're gonna go back into our keywords, and you can see here we're gonna add our keywords. So remember. We gotta keep our theme of roofing contractor, so we can only add <clears throat> keywords in this ad group that are all about roofing contractors. Now, what I'm gonna show you is not only how to find keywords for your ad groups, but how to find ad groups. All right. So really important. <clears throat> we're gonna jump uh, screens here. We're gonna go up to Tools, Keyword Planner. You're gonna click there. It's gonna open you up to this page here, which is the uh, Google's Keyword Planner. I'm going to walk you through how to find keywords and find ad groups. Really important. So we're going to put in our root keyword, which is roof contractor. We're going to hit get started. Now something you might want to do first before I get into this is open up a Google Sheets doc. And you can see here we uh, open one here. And we're going to put our ad groups in here. So each, each one of these columns will be its own ad group. So do that and then come back and you'll see we're in roof contractor. We typed into keyword planner. Now what the first thing we're gonna do is filter because we only want to see keywords related and con or contain damn it. Roof contractor or contractors or whatever. Okay, so it's telling us roof contractor. There's only a handful of keywords, so let's check. Any S on that? If it gets us anything different, it gets us a little bit more. So roof re replacement contractors. The first thing, let's create the ad group. It's our roof contractor ad group. First ad group in the campaign. Now we're going to start dropping our keywords under it. So roof replacement contractors, roof leak repair contractors. These are all good keywords with high intent. There are people looking for a roof contractor who have a problem, a specific problem. Contractors roof service, that is not a high intent keyword. We don't want that. Metal roof repair contractors, they're looking for someone to work on metal roofs. That would be something we would put into its own ad group. So let's say metal roof contractor would be the ad group. Drop that keyword in there. Local roof repair contractors. That's a great keyword. We're going to take that. Drop it under our ad group. Nope, that's a location. Baton Rouge, we don't want that. Green roof contractors, no. Flat roof repair contractors, that's another ad group. So that would be flat roof contractors. And you would paste that right here. And that's our ad group. This looks like a brand, you don't want that. <clears throat> roof repair contractors near me, that's a good one. So we want to take that, put that under our roof contractor ad group. No, no. Roof sheeting contractors. <clears throat> yeah, we can take that. Let's see how it does. And then obviously the roof keyword you want to put in here. Roof contract door. 
know what you would think. Local roof contractor. All right, so let's just say we we went through and did all our keyword research. <clears throat> we have our ad group keywords here. So we're good with that. Now I want to show you how to find more ad groups. You can see just off just off doing research for one of these ad groups, we found two more. That's great. But now I'm going to show you how to find all of your ad groups. So you're going to come into Keyword Planner. Type in a, a root keyword for this, like roofing company. That's a good one. Get results. We're going to turn off the uh, filter for roof contractor. All right. Here comes the fun part, guys. <clears throat> so we have to comb through this list of probably thousands of plus keywords to find all of our ad groups. So right off the bat, roofing company is an ad group. So the only keywords that will be under this ad group are going to be roofing company keywords, roofing companies, stuff like that. So that's one ad group, roof repair. That's its own ad group. So the only keywords under here are going to be all about roof repair services, stuff like that. Oops. There we go. So, so just to show you how that works, we're going to be building out ad groups like this. We already got roofing contractors. Roof replacement is going to be another ad group. And the only important lesson to take away from this video, if anything, the golden nugget, is that when you build your ad groups, all of the keywords have to be extremely relevant to the ad group theme and also have relevance to the ads for each ad group and the landing page that the ad groups go to. That's it. If you can, if you can just master those three things, you will literally crush your competition in AdWords because... 90% of other people running ads don't know what the hell they're doing and they do it wrong. If you can just do this, you'll be ahead of the curve. So obviously I'm not going to go through and create 50 ad groups, but you guys see what I'm doing here. That's how you build out your ad groups. <clears throat> and now to to go, th so let's say we want to go and find our keyword for each ad group. I'll go through that one more time. So remember we built our roofing contractor. So let's say the next one is uh, roofing company. So we'll take the root keyword, we're going to filter it, keyword text, contains, roof company, roof companies, whatever, and look at all these keywords we have to sort through, and we'll just find all the good stuff and add it, certified roofing company, great keyword, house roofing company, great keyword, best roofing company great keyword residential roofing company great keyword and you just find these keywords and start dropping them below your ad group list okay so let's say we have these all filled out we have all our ad groups built and we want to move them into the campaign remember we're gonna come back to AdWords we're under our roofing contractor ad group that's the first ad group we made we have our ads built they're all about roofing contractors our keywords are about roofing contractors and now we're gonna add in the, the keyword research we just found and how we do that is a tool to wrap the different match types. If you remember, we used phrase and exact match. That's all the match types we're going to use when building our campaign from the start. <clears throat> I'm not going to go in depth into what how match types work or anything about that. If you want to search my YouTube channel, I have plenty of videos on how to use match types and um, how they work and what they're about. So you can go watch those videos and then come back here. But to paste the keywords we found in our with our keyword planner, all we're going to do is copy the keywords. We're going to go into a tool that I use called, there's several of these, but this is the one I use called AdWordsWrapper.com. And it's going to wrap our keywords in the match types we want. So you can see here it wraps the keywords in modified broad match phrase exact, broad, modified broad phrase exact, just broad phrase exact, phrase and exact is what we want. So we're going to copy those. You know, if you want phrase match only or exact match or whatever, it doesn't down here. So we're going to grab our phrase and exact match. I'm going to come back, paste, save, and we're done. That's our ad group for roofing contractors. We're going to come back out, and we're going to build our second ad group. Now, how we do the second ad group, there's two ways to do it. 
you can either hit this plus sign here and go through the steps of creating another ad group like this, or a faster way to do it, the way I like to do it, is simply just to clone the ad group you just built. So we copy it, hit paste, paste. All right, and you can see down here, we cloned our first ad group. So now what we're going to do is come over and let's say roof, <clears throat> let's say uh, roof repair is our second ad group. We're going to change the name, roof repair, save. And the first thing we're going to do is open that second ad group. We're going to immediately delete all the keywords because these are the keywords for the first ad group and we don't want them in the second. So go on, be gone. We're going to hit the plus sign here. We're going to come back into our Google Doc. We're going to grab all the keywords for our ad group. Obviously, you'll have a lot more than two. <clears throat> We're going to come back over to AdWords Wrapper. We're going to paste them in. We're going to hit Wrap Keywords. We're going to come back down, grab our phrase and exact match. Come back over to AdWords, and we're just going to paste our ad group keywords into the roof repair ad group. Next, we're going to go into ads, ad extensions, and we're going to tweak all the landing page copy to reflect the second ad group, which is roof repair. good you know what we can actually leave company looks good rear roof Actually, it looks pretty good. So we have need your roof repaired. Then we drop in contractor. Then we hit we hit them with repair again down here. I like that. Save new version. And that's it. We have our second ad group. So <clears throat> if you remember now, our second ad group is all about roof repair, roof repair keywords, roof repair ads, roof repair landing page. Very important. And that's all we're going to do, guys, is rinse and repeat and build out all of our ad groups that way. All right, so let's say we've done all that. I'm not going to go through and create all these ad groups, but let's say you've done that. You've built out all your ad groups. The next thing we're going to do, which is very important, is we're going to go set up our negative keywords. All right, so you go into keywords at the campaign level, negative keywords. And this is how you drop them in. You just hit this little button here, campaign. Make sure it's on the right campaign, XYZ Roofers Inc., and you just paste them in here. Now, if you don't know about how to use negative keywords or how to how to use the negative keyword match types, pause this video, go watch one of my videos where I talk about negative keywords and show you training on that. If you do know, I'm going to show you how to find negative keywords right now, just briefly. So if you need to find negative keywords for, let's so our niche is roofing industry, put in a root keyword like roofing company, roofing contractor, roofing services or whatever, and, um, you know, a keyword that you want to target, okay? That's what you want to put up here. And then start going through the keyword planner and looking for root keywords that you want to uh, not show your ads for, that you want to exclude. And I'll show you an example in a second. So let me find a really good one. Temporary. All right, so that's a root keyword. As Google is saying is relevant to our keyword roofing company it's not we don't want to show for temporary roofing stuff so temporary would be you know a negative so we, we can create a list in our Google sheet negative keywords and drop that right in here if we go back into keyword planner and see what else we can find flashing something we don't want so we're going to add that to our negative keyword list. And this is really time consuming, guys, but this is the right way to do it. There is plenty of tools. You can just drop in a keyword and it'll give you all the negatives. But 
this was the way that you're going to you're going to be your competition shingles let's say if we're not bidding on shingles type keywords shingles is something we don't want to show ads for especially because if, if it's a keyword like shingle roof shingle repair or something it's extremely cheap it's a cheap job for the uh for the client and end client the roofer so it might be a waste of our time sealant it's one we don't want so we add that to our negative list all right so i'm not going to go through and do all of them but you get what i'm doing here that's how you find your negative keywords and you just copy them once you have your list all built out copy them go back into your adwords account and you're just going to paste them into your negative keywords and hit save and now you have negative keywords so what you're telling google is anytime this word is included in a search query that someone types into Google, I do not want my ads to show. And like I said, if you don't understand how negative keywords work and the different match types to use them, go watch one of my negative keyword videos. All right, next up, we're gonna come back out to the ad group level here. Next up, we're going to create our ad extensions at the campaign level. So you come under ads and extensions, go to extensions, and I'll just remove We remove that so we have no extension let's say and we're going to add site link i mean obviously you want to add as many as possible but the main things you want to add are site link extensions call out extensions structured snippet extensions call extensions you can receive text messages it will show in the ad or and uh, location extensions and you to do location extensions you have to set up a google my business page so you have to set that up first and verify your business and then you can make sure it's linked to your adwords account and then you can set that up then they have a few other ones, affiliate location extension, price extensions, app extensions, promotions, if you want to run a promotion. But the main ones you should definitely be using no matter what are site link, call out, structured snippet, call, and location. <clears throat> really important. And what they look like, if you'll do here, if you'll come over here, you just choose your campaign. They look like link text below the ad. So that's on mobile. This is on desktop. So you have your ad, and then you have links that take the user around different pages of your website or different landing pages that you've created or whatever like that and that's it you would just fill this out and hit save I'm not gonna go too far into it and then you like call outs are pretty much the same thing except they're not links they're just call to action text that you can use so that's pretty cool so you would hit save after you create those next you would do call extensions and now something that's important for call extension whatever number you use in your call extension has to be on your landing page somewhere we usually just put the number in the footer and um, you put, turn on call reporting if you don't know what that is come over here and you're telling Google you want your ads to show like this on a mobile so someone can click and just call you obviously you want device preference and you hit save and then I'll show you what the last what a location looks like it would just look like this with a call thing and these ads too when you set up location extensions they also show in Google Maps and um, YouTube the display network so they kind of flash all over the place so that's why they're good to have more, uh, more exposure these are text messages this is what it looks like you can have a call to action here like send us a text for a free quote or something like that then they can hit this little icon and text you and you can try and get them on the phone become a solid lead and that's really it for that so the last thing you have to set up, so assuming you've built out your ad groups, you have set up your negative keywords, you set up all your ad extensions, the last thing you have to do is set up your conversion tracking, and I'm not going to go through that in this video, but if you go to my channel, I show you exactly how to set up the different types of um, AdWords conversion tracking, so you can just watch those and come back here and set that up. And that's really it, guys. That's how you, the gist of how you build a AdWords search campaign you can do it pretty quickly the most important takeaway from this video that you need to understand is that your ad group themes have to be themed with the correct keywords the correct ads the correct landing page I mean it's not uncommon for an AdWords campaign to have you know five to ten landing pages the more relevant the better because you want to build them out and gear them towards your your um, your th your key your ad group themes all right most important thing that and finding high intent keywords all right so for if, if our ad groups roofing contractor type keywords we don't want to have a keyword we're bidding on where that's like uh 
contractor roof reviews or something like that. We don't want that's somebody searching around for for reading to read reviews on different and compare and contrast. We, that's we're not going to pay thirteen dollars a click for someone who's not looking directly for to solve a problem like roof leak repair contractor. This guy has an issue that needs to be resolved immediately. We need he needs to, to call us. Somebody's looking for reviews is browsing around. It's not worth doing thirteen dollars a click. That's my that's all I mean when I say high intent. So keep that in mind when you're building campaigns. If you have any questions about building out AdWords campaigns, anything like that, drop them below this video. I'd love to help. As always, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I really appreciate that. And um, check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there, including a free ebook we offer on how to optimize your AdWords campaigns. Because building them is one thing, but making them run smoothly and generate leads is a whole different thing. So we have a uh, link for that. We have a link for our actual AdWords uh, course called Google Ads Training Academy it's where we go really in depth and step by step video stuff like that so you can check that out as well other than that I will see you guys in the next video